So hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle is absolutely glorious. I have tried to record this video twice now. Um, once it crashed, two, it's just not working. So let's hope third time is a charm. Yes, it's messy behind me. We're just gonna ignore that. We are gonna ignore that. Today I am gonna be unboxing the Fresh and Flowers box for July. I haven't opened anything yet. I just opened the lid and then it all went pear shape. Um, this is gonna be a really cool box because it is the Naked Fresh box. And it says, we believe in taking responsibility for our plastic packaging by using recycled plastic wherever possible and by taking our plastics back for recycling. Lush has its own bring it back scheme. You can return your plastics to any of our shops. Alongside the factories, we have the Green Hub where those return containers are processed and recycled into moulds or trays for future use. This represents around 80% of our packaging. You can help by returning your plastic packaging or buying from our range of unpackaged, in brackets, naked products. In this box is a selection of these products. Hopefully you'll find a new regime to help both your body and the planet. There is a QR code which I will let you all scan at the end. So as you may know if you shop at Lush, a large portion of Lush's products are packaging free. Bath bombs, the bubble bars, which is Lush's version of plastic free bubble bath, shampoo bars, what else we got? Um, massage bars, you know, because back in the day they were pretty much all in liquid form, in bottles. Um, so there's loads of ways to make swaps plastic free and there's loads of plastic free skincare as well, such as, um, what else you've got? Oh my god, facial soaps, depending on what store you are is your local, some incest naked clay cleansers. There's just lots of options for people to try. And I really, and I'm just going off here, I really hope I'm in focus. I can't tell, but I'm going to say that we are. But anyway, let's open up this box and see what is inside. And actually, this is the first time in ages that I managed to read the whole thing out before it, um the stick I crossed over. So this is it here. So we've got a lovely box. It smells very interesting. So let's just dive straight in. I can see something wrapped in grease proof. I can see petals all over the place. I've got, ooh, I think the heat has got some of these, some honeysuckle. R.I.P. No more. Smells so good though, but I don't know if that's just what it's touched. But we have well, I don't know what this is, but it's made by Daniel. Let's open this up and we can have a look. A bit of ASMR. <gasps> what is this? Is this, <clears throat> is this a dusting powder? Mm. Oh my God, it smells like Mrs. Whippy. Oh my God, it's a dusting powder and it smells like Mrs. Whippy. Oh wow, so sorry. <laughs> Just having a moment by myself here. So, I mean, it's an absolute, this is becoming a bit of a mess. I think it's a bit loose, but what you've got here is a little muslin cloth filled with dusting powder. It feels so silky. So you can kind of see there in my hand, I put far too much on. I don't know if that's for your feet or for your body or for your armpits, we'll find out but that is so silky soft. It smells amazing. It is a little bit messy. What I might do is I might try and decant that into something. I love the muslin cloth ones. I still have the fairy feet one because I don't, I should do more with my feet, but I don't. Um, and I love the fairy feet one that we got um, from the last last year's box that but it also came out into all stores. So I love this concept of the dusting powders in the little muslin bags. This one, like I say, is a little bit more messy than the fairy feet one. And I don't know if that's just because maybe my muslin cloth hasn't been tied as much. But if you don't know what Mrs. Whippy smells like, uh, Mrs. Whippy uh, came out as a bubble bar uh, a couple of years ago. But I think before that it had been a bath bomb. And it's also the same smell as Candy Rain. It's just beautiful, creamy, musky, like kind of ice cream sort of a smell. It's very yummy and sweet. So if you are, if you like, well, first of all, if you like American cream, you'll probably like Candy Rain because it's nice and moisturizing. But if you like the smell of American cream, you're probably going to really enjoy the smell of Mrs. Whippy. Um, so it smells so good. I'm excited about that. That's lovely. Next up we have, oh dear, my little shampoo bar has lost one of his ears. 
This is, I think it's called Wash Behind Your Ears Shampoo Bar, and it was a little bunny with a little pom-pom nose. Um, and it, well, it did have two little rice paper ears, but mine, mine's lost one. And it smells unreal. Is this Montebano shampoo? It's very lemony. So this, I, this definitely is going to be really good if you have slightly more oily hair or if you like a shampoo bar that really deeply cleanses. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Then we have, whoa, look at this. This has got to be the biggest iPads we've had to date. My God, this is huge. Look at that, get off. Look at that, right. straight away I'm gonna put it on my face. Oh, but do you know what it is, right? That feels unreal. That, you know where I can feel it most? On my temples. I need to go put that straight in the fridge and use that, and use that properly. Because if you get like tension, maybe around your temples, that would feel so good. That's huge. Next up, we've got a little delight. So this is what it looks like. So if you're thinking, well, I thought this was plastic free and this looks like plastic wrap. It's not. So this is a biodegradable wrapping. I think also to, I think it's from cellulose, yeah. And what you can do to this, this is actually suitable for home composting. So you can put this in your home compost bin. But I love the delights. I haven't had a delight for ages. I mean, actually I've still got some, but they're all, but like in a new form. Oh my God, it's abominable scented. So it smells like Murray mints. Uh, if you don't know what a Murray mint is, think of a peppermint boiled sweet or candy, but like creamy. It smells, oh, unreal. Like I am doing everything in my power not to bite this. This smells unreal. Please bring this out for Christmas. Oh my God. Oh my god, that smells so good. Right, what we got next? We've got a teeny tiny bath bomb that says fresh. Unless it's a toner tap. It looks like a bath bomb. Oh. That is so sherbetty. That is like lemony and sherbetty. It reminds me of something. And it looks like it has marigold uh, petals inside of it as well. But I like how it says fresh on it. Then we've got, oh, I'm going to touch you last. <laughs> and then we've got a deodorant. Now, you may all have remembered my kind of opinions on the deodorant that we got last time. I really enjoyed it and then, it's, and then I started to get a bit sensitive to it. So, I'm going to give it another go. I'm going to give it another go. Uh, we'll find out what it's called. And I'm instantly going to give it a go because it's got a little viola um, flower on it. it. It's stunning. It literally looks like a little bar of fudge. Look at that. It doesn't smell the same as last one. It's got more of like a chamomile lavender scent. But what I would do is with this, and I'll show you, what I did was I took a little pinch like this and I warmed it up between my hands like that. And then I applied it to my armpit. Um, straight away, it's absorbed in, it feels matte. So I'm going to assume before looking at the ingredients that it probably has corn flour in it. Um, which I don't have any issues with, excuse me, with my loo roll. Um, it's going to make, you know, all that kind of like nice powdery to touch kind of feeling. And last but not least, we've got this squidgy block. I don't know what this is. Uh, this has got some words written on it. What does that say? Make? Maker? Maker? Oh, this smells green. This smells... Can you read what that says? M A K E R oh, maker maker naked it says naked blooming ex Sarah maker God's sake honestly right let's have a look at what everything is okay so we've got the flowers enjoy a flourish of floor a fragrant rose petals plucked from Carrie's secret garden on the day of this little box of joy is sent to you. Perfect for scattering in the bath. We also added a heavenly honeysuckle. Please give them a good drink. I'm gonna be honest, you'd need like 
a wizard or something to bring that back from the dead. It, it, a touch of water isn't going to do it. These lovely little rose petals will look lovely in the bath. Well, that one will. I think some of them are a little bit wilted. I, I, I love the idea of the rose petals, but they don't travel that well. And I would say I've got two pretty ones and the rest have kind of gone brown. And I just, I don't know if it would be easier, but obviously it, it might be a lot as, if you're getting them from Kerry Street Ground, you might not have as many bushes available, but maybe just to give us a head of a rose so that we can pluck our own petals to put in the bath. Just because this rose petal is possibly one of the most beautiful rose petals I've seen. This ombre yellow to orange to red is absolutely stunning. And I just know that if some of the other rose petals had been the same and, and not kind of brown, it would have felt more special. And the honeysuckle smells absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But again, it didn't travel well, which is such a shame. It's such a shame. Um, so I don't know. Give us give us a whole give us a whole head of a rose. Um, and then we can pluck it and it's more likely to stay more intact. Or just put dried rose petals in so that they're kind of perfect because the fresh ones don't seem to have carried on. But I love the thought behind it. I just don't think it's, la especially with how hot it is, I don't think it's lasted as long. First of all, we've got the Naked Cucumber Fresh Face Mask. And it does smell like cucumber. It also smells a little bit like, I, I always end up going, it smells like antiope but it's very sharp and green. It reminds me of something. So it says, ooh, fresh cucumber deep puffs, excuse me, fresh cucumber deep puffs and soothes your skin while the pear juice naturally tones and hydrates. Pinch off a quarter of the roll and add a little water and make to a thick paste before massaging over the face. Relax for up to 10 minutes and wash off with a cloth flannel. Mmm. So you've got uh, glycerin, kaolin, ground almonds, fresh cucumber, that's why it's so green, um, cornstarch, fresh pear juice, oat flower, chamomile blue, oak moss absolute, fennel oil, violet leaf absolute, fresh rose petals, mmm, that oak moss absolute, is it guardians? But then it's a violet leaf. Please, someone tell me what that is that ingredient and, and, and what does it smell like? I'm going to pop that down there. I'm still laughing at me saying maker. Then we've got... Ah, ah, oh, what should I do next? We'll do the marigold toner tab. So I thought it was a bath bomb and I knew it smelled familiar because it's the marigold scent. Is it? Is it the marigold scent? Am I just making that up? It smells lovely. <laughs> a fizzing steamer tab with marigold petals that soothe the skin. Drop into a bowl of warm water and allow the essential oils to steam away the day as you hold your face over the bowl. So you've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, organic blood orange. I'm ha some something is coming back to me. Um, Tartrity's oil, uh, marigold flower, chamomile powder, marigold petals, marigold petal powder, safflower petals. What is that smell? I think it's bright side scented. There's something super nostalgic about that smell. Right, okay, move on, Sarah, move on. You have got the Peppermint Delight Body Wash. Gently apply to wet skin for an extremely light and fluffy body wash using aquafaba, agar agar, and fresh mint infusion. So you've got granulated sugar, agar agar gel, invert sugar syrup. You've got fresh mint infusion, cornstarch, aquafaba powder, peppermint oil, Brazilian orange oil, vanilla absolute, xanthan gum, almond oil, cream of tartar, titanium dioxide, some synthetic flora flora guide. It smells divine and I want to eat it. I want to eat it. So this is called Rockaway Beach Dusting Powder Pad. Dab this bag filled with absorbent tapioca starch and soothing calamine powder over your towel dried body. We have wrapped this in Silvicta, which is a home compostable biodegradable paper. Cool, I thought it was a muslin cloth. So you've got tapioca starch, corn starch, uh, you've got calamine powder, cucumber powder, cocoa absolute, tonka absolute, almond essential oil, butchu oil, fair trade organic aloe vera powder. This would be quite nice maybe if you get a little bit sunburnt because of that aloe vera powder. I'm gonna put a bit on my leg and have a little try. Can you see me leg? Ugh. Oh my God, so much comes out. 
Oh, I mean, that feels so good. And I smell so good. Unreal. Right, then we have got, God, we've got the Wash Behind Your Ears shampoo bar. This shampoo bar was invented, uh, sorry, the shampoo bar was invented by Mo Constantine in 1988. One bar lasts up to 80 washes and saves three shampoo bottles from heading into landfill. The delicate carrot oil moisturizes while cider vinegar leaves your hair shiny and detangled. Stroke the bar over wet hair to build a lather. Work, work lather through the hair and rinse away. So you've got the sodium cocoa sulfate lather. You've got alfalfa infusion, Sicilian lemon oil, uh, cold pressed carrot seed oil, cider vinegar, lemon myrtle oil, rosewood oil. Mmm, smells really fresh, really good. Then we have the lemon daikon deodorant. Where I put you? Here. A gentle solid deodorant with softening a lippy and shea butter, deodorizing bicarb, fresh daikon juice to control body odor. Pinch off a small piece like what I did before and smooth across your underarm. The absorbent powders and soft butters will keep your armpits free of whiffs. This wrapper is made from a certified home compostable material. There you go, see I said. So you've got cornstarch, almond oil, organic lippy butter, uh, sodium bicarb, fresh daikon radish juice, you've got organic shea butter, lavender oil, spike lavender oil, fresh lemon juice, glycerin. I can definitely smell the lavender in that. I'm going to give it another go. And don't forget, natural deodorants, whether they're from Lush or somewhere else, like say Wild, for example, they don't contain antiperspirant. You're still going to sweat, you're just going to smell nice. And then last but not least, we've got this humongous humongous face mask. This is called the Scuba Diver. While wearing your mask, unwrap from your biodegradable and compostable wrapping. Place over your eyes and relax. Use a cooling fresh aloe and seaweed eye pad only once. So if you wanted to make this last longer, you can absolutely just cut it into bits and use it for under eyes. Um, but I really like the fact that you can feel it on your temples and it's really, really, really cooling. And that hasn't been in the fridge. So you've got water, glycerin, fresh aloe, carrageenan extract, fine dorset sea salt, blue spirulina extract. Um, it's lovely. Overall, uh, I'll give you this. So if you want to scan the QR code, excusez-moi. There you go, if you'd like to scan the QR code. Um, overall, I absolutely love the concept of this box. There were some little flaws with it, like the petals and just the mess that this is making. However, I, excuse me, and I'm looking forward to using it and trying it. There's a nice bit of skincare in here. Uh, it would have been nice to have had a bath bomb, um, but I suppose if you are like someone like me who gets both the kitchen box and the Fresh and Flowers box, you'll have already had like a billion, a billion um, bath products. But yes, I would love to know what you think is you know, of this box. Would you get it? Would you not get it? You know, is this your favorite one that you've had? Um, I think the favorite thing out of this box is going to be the dusting powder and the delight. Smells alone, obviously then the textures and the feels. Um, I'm, I'm very intrigued by this naked face mask, <laughs> just cause it looks so silly. Um, and I'm excited to try the toner. Uh, I also like the idea of the toner tab. I haven't used a toner tab in so long. Obviously they don't sell them anymore, which is a shame. Um, so I would, you know, if they sold them like this, I think they would sell really well than the little blocks. So maybe this could be something that maybe they revisit. Um, but yes, I would love to know what you think of this box down below. Um, please leave a little comment. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And of course, if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers. You can follow me on social media here. YouTube is gonna, uh, I'm doing this, leave you some videos to watch at the end. Um, I am in the process, just so you know, of moving um, and tidying upstairs in the loft so that I can create a bigger space. And I actually want to start doing some live streaming on YouTube as well. So it just means that I can have my computer upstairs. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing evening or day or whatever you're doing. And I'm going to see you next video. Bye.